I just noticed that I left one of my earbuds in my ear this entire time. That's gonna be very distracting. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's really so sorry I haven't made a video in the past several months now um, I've just been really busy with like work and just all these other different things and I was recently in Hawaii too so that might have been partially why So today's topic is going to be the Canon 50 plus any one of these uh, lens adapters plus the 24 to 105 um, lens that we have right here. So I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between the the Canon lens adapter and the Biltrox one um, with this certain lens um, similar to the one I did of the 50 millimeter and if you haven't seen that one definitely click in the card in the corner wherever it is uh, but yeah let's get right into it. Before we get started let's get a couple things out of the way anything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description as affiliate links and if you want to support this channel please consider buying through those affiliate links it really really helps this channel and be sure to leave a like um, on this video because apparently likes do something now so definitely leave a like secondly let's establish what lenses can go on each of these adapters so this is the first party Canon adapter this is like the official one right here um, so this one is compatible with both EF and EFS lenses so any type of EF and EFS lens will be compatible but this Viltrox speed booster right here is only compatible with EF lenses so any type of EF lens will work on this but not the EFS lenses so this one can adapt more lenses this one can't so just keep that in mind and lastly whenever you adapt any of the compatible lenses with these um, lens adapters you're gonna be adding on a 1.6 times crop. Um, both of these are gonna add that 1.6 times crop. But with the Viltrox Speed Booster, um, in addition to the 1.6, you get a 0.71, so it kind of takes you forward, and then the glass right here in the middle, it will you know, take you back a little bit. So with those out of the way, let's get right into the video. So now what you're seeing is the Canon lens adapter plus the Sigma 24 to 105. Since it's on the Canon lens adapter, the focal length will have to be multiplied by 1.6 because of the 1.6 crop. So the 24 times 1.6 equals 38.4 and we can just round it to 38. So what you're seeing right now is 38 millimeters because of that, you know, that crop. And I'm standing in pretty much the same exact place as I was with my um, kit lens that you just saw but uh, yeah this is kind of what it looks like it's kind of very close and you can kind of see the difference between like you know the crop um, but now we're gonna switch over to the speed booster I'm gonna stand in the same exact place um, at 24 millimeter or what this um, lens is at for 24 millimeter and let's um, let's see the difference so I'm standing in the same exact place but the only difference is that I switch it over to the Viltrox speed booster so as you can see there is a little bit of a difference um, just for me looking at the camera from the um, flip out screen I do see more of my, my face a little bit of my like my mid mid section right here the focal length is still multiplied by 1.6 but then you have to multiply that by an additional 0.71 and then your new um, focal length is going to be a 27.264 or you can just round it to 27 millimeter so now what you're seeing right now is a 27 millimeter equivalent um, for this I'll kind of put the, the two videos side by side but you see with the Canon lens adapter you're at 38 pushing almost 40 millimeter but with the Viltrox speed booster you're now at 27 which is actually really good 27 and this lens is a 24 wow it's only like a, a difference of four millimeters of focal length so that's pretty cool and as you can see it follows my face pretty well and it works like flawlessly all right so i'm still on the Viltrox speed booster but for a lot of people they wonder what it looks like with the 4k and you know for those wondering i'm just gonna do a quick run through same exact setting but all i'm changing is the 4k so let's get right into it so i did not change the lens adapter i'm still in the Viltrox speed booster and look how close it is to my face it's like incredibly close kind of like what the Canon lens adapter was so I'm just gonna have the Canon lens adapter one I'm gonna have them both labeled right here um, so you guys can see the difference side by side of course you know me standing in the same exact area um, I'm just gonna be calling out what the focal lengths for this are so of course all I changed was the 4k but when you change it to 4k you have to multiply that number by the 1.6 once again so like I said um, not too long ago it's 27 millimeters so changing it to 4k you have to multiply by 1.6 once again and then you get 43.2 or just rounding to uh, 43 millimeters so this is what 
this is a 43 millimeter rounded down um, <laughs> equivalent that you're seeing right here. And then the Canon lens adapter um, for that one, that one we ended off on like 38 millimeter. So 38 times 1.6 is 61.44 or, you know, rounding 61 millimeter. So with the Canon lens adapter, obviously you're going to see, you know, it's going to be way zoomed in than the, than the, uh, the Viltrox Speed Booster. And I know it's, it's having a hard time because I'm so close to the camera, but I'm trying to stay in the same exact spot um, this entire time. So. Uh, yeah, hope you guys can see the difference and, and let me know your thoughts. All right, so now we're back to the regular kit lens um, for the Canon M50. So my thoughts on the Sigma 24 to 105 on top of the Canon M50 with those two different lens adapters is that it actually works pretty well. Of course, when you go into the different focal lengths, you're gonna have to apply that 1.6 times crop and then along with the speed booster, the 1.6 and then times it by the 0.71. So it's a generally very easy formula to follow and it might be a little bit hard to do do on the fly but you know that's just kind of the nature if you want to use those EF lenses with the Viltrox or if you want to use the EF and EF lenses on the Canon um, lens adapter. So with the 24-105 to 105 lens it's actually a great like all-around lens because of the wide range it has from 24 all the way to 105 so you have the nice um, zoom capability with 105 but then um, pretty wide with the 24 so it's it, it allows for just a lot of um, different scenarios in which you can use this lens so pairing that up with the M50 and the Viltrox Speed Booster is a great um, combination because you can just do a lot of different things and with the Speed Booster it gets very close to the 24 millimeter at 27 millimeter so um, yeah it's just a really great choice and I'll have it linked down in the description below. Let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below what other lenses you want to see I don't have like every lens out there so you know it's gonna be very limited but I'll be taking suggestions so just leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. So it's been a while since I actually made a video here on YouTube, but I have been very active on other accounts that I have. My other channel called Freely Travel, obviously there's gonna be a lot of travel stuff on there, and Freely Too, which is kinda just like my everything else channel, um, stuff that I don't feel like belongs on this one. So if you guys wanna just see just other aspects of what I do, um, just definitely follow me on those other um, channels. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Uh, but by the way, it's actually a really good, really, really, really good pair of uh, Bluetooth um, earbuds. I bought this off of Amazon. It was like quarter of a price of AirPods and plus I don't have Apple. Uh, this is a really great alternative. The battery lasts a really long time too. The case holds a charge and you just throw them inside there to let them charge. And yeah, I'll have this link down in the description below if you guys want to pick one up.